Hey guys! Alright guys, we're here today to do a Patreon request. Yeah, that Patreon right there, I said check out As I Lay Dying, Within Destruction, Throwback Thursday. Uh, what is there to say? Uh, we've done a couple of songs from As I Lay Dying, but we did yeah. from the new album that they released last year. We haven't done any older track. We did two videos, from both from the new album, and they were both killer. But we haven't done any any old stuff, so I thought that this Patreon request was kind of interesting. Uh, you know, do a throwback Thursday, see what they were doing up before, because I kind of discover them. I've, I'm late into the game. You too. We've discovered yeah. them with a new record, with the new tracks. So I thought, why not check something older and see see what they were doing back in the day. Yeah, see what they were doing back in the day. See if there's any difference in sound and approach. And aggression, because if there's one thing the new album has is aggression. I mean, like, talk about punching mountains. You you want to punch everybody around you, you know? The karate in the pit. I, I'm not a fan of karate in the pit. I, honestly, I'm not. But this song makes you want to... You could actually really, really hurt someone. And you can hurt yourself, too. Yeah. But I, this, this band, at least with the new album, they really have that sense of you wanting to destroy absolutely everything around you. So I thought this was interesting. Let's go a little bit back into their, into their discography, see what they were doing before, compare notes, and go from there. Are you okay with that? Yeah. All right, let's do that. Put this on.
<sighs> they play this live? And people it should live be, to tell? It should be illegal. Th th this should be illegal to be played live. Holy... And there weren't people doing karate. I, I don't, but people I'm, were... I'm, well, you couldn't do karate. The place was so freaking know, people packed. People were jumping couldn't... off the stage, though. I know. I love that. That's this video is so old school. The, the sound, the sound is a little bit more than a little bit. The sound is different from what what we got from the new album. But the aggression and the intensity is even higher. If it's even possible, this song is insane. It. Oh man, jeez, like. Wow. Just fast chugging riff. Oh, oh. <laughs> the riff was killer. The, the, the chug. Oh, before we the, talk about that, like, let me just say one thing. The drummer's mustache. Pure greatness. Yeah. Pure, pure greatness. They don't make mustaches like that anymore. You can try, but, you know, there, there's... It takes a, speci a special man yeah. to pull off that kind of mustache. Or, or woman, for that matter. I, I don't know. It's teach his own. All right, like that ch the chug. It made me want to do the bells and bubs kind of like, uh, like uh, going side to side thing. Oh man! Oh. It made me want to do the bells and bubs stomp. That chug, that riff. But this song to me had a little bit, uh, more than a little bit. This this to, this song took me to a very, to a very cool place. It it took me to my childhood. It 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 had that thrash metal crossover feel to it and how aggressive it is how fast when it starts holy shit uh, it's, it's like it's running away from you the song and, and it's and it's it's not and just fast it's heavy and fast and at the kinda, same time it kind of slows down but it gets heavy when it slows down oh when it slows down it becomes even heavier oh man the, 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 but the, the the guitar riff the sound that it has b both times when it's fast and when it slows down it, it's just it's so destructive the sound alone is destructive. The sound alone is killer. Yeah. It's absolutely killer. But it really, it, to me, it really had a little bit of that thrash metal crossover from, I would say, the early 90s. Like, there was some bands that had this, this similar approach. Actually, there's some bands now that have this similar uh, style. Uh, Power Trip comes to mind. Power Trip live. I've seen them live. I've seen them live. And... and and this kind of reminded me of like Power Trip now has a little bit of this of this sound, this powerful like driving riffs, yeah. driving heavy riffs that controlled the song from beginning to end. This was killer. Like, how can you play this live? Like, it's it it's, should be illegal. I, I must say the video helps too. Uh, yeah. Even though the video is a little bit dark and and how we were watching, sometimes we kind of miss a little bit of here and there. Of it the was video. It, it added a lot. But seeing the people jumping uh, off the stage made it even more. Oh, hectic. It, it made it more powerful. Yeah. If it's even possible, it made it heavier. You know, it made the song overall feel heavier. Yeah. Seeing the people jump and off. over top of everyone jumping off. Oh. I, I, I've been to a lot of shows in my life. I mean, last year alone, I think I went to over 120 concerts. The only concert that I can, that I can honestly say that I saw more hecticness than this, as far as people... Uh, jumping off stage yeah. was nails. I went to see nails, uh, and uh, I went to see nails with Misery Index. They were on tour together last year, and there was no barrier at the Opera House. You know the Opera House, right? There's no barrier, so you could climb up on top and just like Shit. whatever, right? I've never seen a concert with as many people stage diving as I saw that show. It was just it, it, it almost. Every five seconds, there was somebody jumping. I saw a guy doing like you know, a power bomb. You know, like when you do into the pool, when you run and you hold your knee. A buddy of mine, uh, it, it did that. You, you know, he ran and and he. But he's so tiny that when he hit the crowd, he just kept walking. Like he was like no impact whatsoever. But but it was insanity. Insanity. But what goes through your mind that makes you want to do a cannonball? Because what if no one wants to catch you? Then you just land on your ass. Yeah, but, but he. Well, I guess, yeah. But, I mean, the place was packed. It was sold out. Like, That's true. It's it, nearly impossible for you not to hit somebody. But he was crazy. Anyways. he's uh, But he's a tiny guy. You know who it is. He always wears the metal vest. He lost his cell phone. His cell phone at every concert. He lost his cell phone at Children of Bodom. He lost his cell phone at Amon Amarth. He loses his cell phone at every concert. So, anyways. Uh, that, to me, is perhaps the most 
uh, hectic show as far as like stage diving is concerned. This this song, this song. Uh, if you if you're if you're in the front, never mind holding on to the rail. You better you better have like a, a lock and key and just yeah. put a chain around yourself and chain yourself to the barricade because there's no way. You have to swallow the key because if you have it in your hand, you're gonna lose that key. <laughs> I swallow the key. I was thinking, you know, this is not a band or a song for people to be taking pictures or oh. selfies or filming during during the performance. It's just it's not it's not a good combination no. of, of of things to There's do. There's gonna be a lot of cracked phone phones. Screens. Oh fuck, man. this was epic. What what an epic track with destruction. Okay, I gotta make note of that. Yeah, I, I need I need to we need to listen to more of this band like old school stuff. This was fucking killer. Anything else you wanna add to this? This this band has gone under my radar for such a long time. I honestly, not quite sure why, but wow! And now I understand why people were so excited when they announced that they were releasing a new album last year. People were going mental. I mean, the songs we did were great, yeah. but this one is a turns whole to eleven. Caliber. Yeah, this is turned to eleven. All right. On that note, come back tomorrow. We'll have more videos for you. See you guys. See ya.